Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. If you like making money, subscribe to the channel. I can probably help you do that. Uh, we look at undervalued investment opportunities, and if that sounds interesting to you, I would definitely subscribe. So uh, today I'm gonna go over a uranium update. Uh, uranium, this is gonna be a tough one to read. I was looking at a lot of the charts. We've got split stuff uh, throughout the sector, and I don't think there's a clear direction necessarily, uh, but we'll look at the charts anyway, and I'll, I'll give you my opinion. Again, this is this is just my opinion. I'm a I'm going to say I'm a, a above average to good chart reader. Uh, I'm not great. This, this isn't my profession. Uh, but what I think the channel does do uh, is provide value in terms of identifying long term trends and knowing where the value is in the market. Uh, these are long term investments. That's the approach that I take. Uh, this short term stuff you can use it as financial education, as maybe even. Uh, We'll call it value in uh, as as just entertainment. Maybe that maybe that's the case. Entertainment value, but I use it for timing purchases. Uh, I try my best to to time the purchases as best I can. But you know what? Catching bottoms is extremely difficult, and there might be times where getting within ten or twenty percent of a bottom is is like really good, uh, and and you might see a twenty percent or thirty percent down. Uh, in your portfolio, even though you bought while it was already 40, 50% off its highs. So it's very difficult to catch bottoms. These things are extremely volatile. So if you guys are trying to buy some of these, uh, again, patience is required. Uh, my time horizon is out there. It is five, 10 years is what I'm looking at a lot of these investments. And I think we are going to see major gains, not little things, uh, but major gains. But in order to get major gains, you're going to have to go through volatility. It's just the way it is. Uh, that's the way the market is. And I'm going to go over, over other presentations addressing those issues. So here's the uranium update. Um, jump in here. I'm going to go straight into charting. This is what we've got. We've got a hammer here, uh, but we've got downside momentum. So when I look at this, yes, short, short, short term, like the next day uh, or this day that we went to right today, uh, is this momentum going to continue to the upside? I'm going to say doubtful. I think we're still in pullback mode uh, for a little while longer. Because uh, usually when you've got momentum coming down like this, it just doesn't flip and turn. But we are seeing some of these companies flip and turn pretty dang quick. So this is going to be a difficult one to read, I think. Uh, it's up to you guys what you want to do. But I don't have I don't have a clear direction here. Uh, we've got some some companies like Can Alaska showing a nice big bullish engulfing, looking ready to launch higher. I mean, that's one data point. Uh, think of this this guy here, similar to this one here, where it pops up, comes back, and then you know moves up like this. But this is kind of a a, a large move already. We've got the nice pullback, and we got a nice big bullish engulfing. I would say that with this bullish engulfing here and here, that this is ready to kind of turn and put in a bottom. Will it just turn and rocket higher? Probably not, but it's not. A, to me, I wouldn't think it's that bad to be adding in right here. We got a nice big bullish engulfing. We might get a couple more little small down days, and it's looking pretty good. And then you got Sky Harbor that had a, this. Remember, Can Alaska is up in Alaska. Sky Harbor is up in Alaska, and some of these kind of trade similarly. You've got a nice trend line here. It bounced off the trend line. So is this trend line going to stick? Perhaps, because this is in a pretty good uptrend. It looks pretty nice. Looks looks solid. And then you've got Global Atomic. You've got bearish engulfing, bearish engulfing, and we're kind of, he kind of heading lower. We've got a nice small day here on this kind of pull-up, which makes me think it wants to head lower. So we've got the African uh, uranium companies looking a little bit different than the Canadian companies. Here's another African company, Goviax. Does this one look strong? I still think this thing could could come back, uh, pull back a little further. We've got bearish engulfings everywhere, and I don't see the buyers stepping in with the big up candlesticks. I don't see it yet. But I do see it <laughs> in Can Alaska. So I've got a I've I've got a split, you know, split split readings here. Now here's uh, standard uranium. I mean, again, we've got a lot of momentum here. I don't see the big up candlestick days like like we do here, but overall it is trending higher slowly and slowly. Would it be bad to be buying off this kind of trend line bottom? Probably not. It's probably not a bad spot 
uh, to be looking in, into purchasing some standard uranium. Would I buy it down here? Sure. But remember, my time frame is a long time frame. Uh, I know a lot of you guys, uh, you want instant returns. You want to put your money in and it's just flying higher. And unfortunately, you know, I, I might not be the, be the best of ch uh, chart reader on a short-term basis. And here's pure point uranium. Uh, looks like this trend line has broken to the downside. Could we see a little bit further downside back here? Sure, we could. Would I be a buy down there? Sure, I would. I would be a buyer down here for sure. I'd like to see it come back and then resolve itself with a bullish engulfing, bullish piercing, something on the lines of that. Here's base load energy. Uh, I think it actually ended down a little bit today. But this one, the momentum is working its way off. So that's positive. Would I be a buyer down here? Sure, I would. I would be a buyer down here. It's still showing weakness, but it has contracted some. It'd be nice to buy into strength and show maybe tomorrow we see a big update or a bullish engulfing. Then I would be like, yes, that is the day I'm looking for. Have I personally bought this down here? I have not. I'm still waiting. But if you're a long-term investor, this price, probably not too bad. You've got a lot of support down here. Look at all these buyers and sellers down here. This is where I did buy uh, earlier, was back in this area. I bought back here. Would I be a buyer down here? Sure I would, sure I would. Next Gen Energy. I think this thing could potentially maybe even roll over. Whenever you have these black candlesticks where it opens and kind of closes, it's kind of like resistance, like it can't move. I wanna see these big candlestick uh, body body uh, bodies like this. That's showing momentum to the upside that will continue. I don't see any of that over here. So it could potentially chop sideways or, or pull back still. I don't see any clear indications that this momentum has changed yet for next gen. Same with Fission. It's the same, same chart reading. Denison Mines. Uh, again, I want to see the big candlestick body days. This right here, this was a, a good setup here. I thought we were going to break to the upside, but it didn't break. Came back. Pulled on back with the rest of the sector. The rest of the sector didn't break with it. So we're in this little pullback. We're waiting. Potentially can go up, potentially not. I mean, there's some, some support down here. So it could pull back a little bit more. Maybe it heads on up. This is a difficult one to read. I don't see any turning points yet. Uh, same with UEC. I mean, we've got a nice, nice little hammer here. But we still have good momentum coming down. I, this, I think it's going to go sideways or pull back a little bit still. Blue Sky Uranium, I do like the wick on the bottom. We still have some momentum coming down. I think we're going to chop sideways for a little while. Deep Yellow, I don't know if it ended here. I did this kind of middle midday, but where this one is kind of slowly working its way out, I think in here is probably not a bad spot to be looking sometime over these next few days. Doesn't look too bad. Encore looks a little top heavy to me. Bearish engulfing, bearish engulfing, bearish engulfing, uh, bearish piercing, bearish engulfing, bearish engulfing. It's, I think this thing is either going to go sideways or pull back a little bit. Batterman, on the other hand, is looking not too bad. Whenever we get to this bottom trend line, it's holding quite strong. So I think eventually, I think, you know, in here is not a bad, not a bad spot. And if we break this, this pattern here, uh, I think we're going to break it to the upside and it's going to move quite substantially. Is it ready yet? I don't know. But I'd be buying it. I, you know, I'd be a buyer off this bottom trend line. It's been holding. So go with what's worked. And if we break out of this this pattern, you know, holly, hell, holly, hallelujah, however you say that. I can't even say it right now. But yeah, we'll be we'll be moving to the upside. And then Gobiax. Oh, I put in this, put, put this one in twice. But it is holding down here, and I'd like to see this thing punch through. So that's uranium. It, it's a mixed bag. Uh, I think we're putting in positive developments. I just want to see more. I, I want to see larger candlesticks. I want to see bullish engulfings, bullish piercings. I want to see chart trend breaks. We haven't seen that yet. So more patience. That's, that's what I'm doing. More patience, uh, more savings of money. And when I get more money, I'll, I'll pile it in when I see this thing uh, looking good. Would buying here be a bad thing? Oh, no, not at all. 
Uh, if you guys are patient and you continue to cost average in, if that's the strategy that you want to deploy, and I do that sometimes, uh, what I do is I cost average in and am patient. The 60 pounds to one ounce uh, ratio for gold, for uranium to gold, is still extremely cheap, extremely cheap. You would be winning buying at these uh, levels and just be patient. Uh, the, the time will come. Everything is turning. Watch some of my other presentations that I'm going to release in the next couple of days uh, on market conditions and value. It's coming. There's no sign. There's no sign saying that this isn't coming uh, for a commodity boom. So, what my viewpoint is is, I get my money in, I get my shares as cheap as I can, and I just hold on. I don't trade in and out. Uh, I perhaps if I see a better opportunity, I put the the company into quote a free ride. So I leave the profits ride. I take my original investment money and I put it somewhere else if I think there's a better opportunity at that time or to diversify out. Sometimes I do that. So, uh, but that's that's one of the strategies I use. And again, portfolio allocation. Make sure you're putting in maybe one, two percent, maybe three percent at most, or or up to five percent. That's like absolute maximum into each position. That's five percent of the total portfolio worth. And again, just to reiterate, I am not putting 100 percent of my net worth in these types of companies. Only 15 to 20 percent of of my money goes into these highly speculative companies. I've got another 15 in mutual funds, 401ks, and then I've got a lot of physical precious metals. Just keep that in mind. If you guys like this content, give me a thumbs up. Appreciate you guys listening. This is Finding Value.